I'd like to move forward with – I'm sorry, we're not taking the entertainment for thoughts from the floor. Sorry. We're going to move first to tab one. <coughs> Sir, you're out of order. You're out of order once. Chairman, you're out of order twice. Mr. Chairman, please. I'm going to ask you to leave. Thank you. Chairman, please. I'm going to ask you to leave. Can the people speak? Chairman, please. Tab one, tab one, sir, sir, you're out of order. You've had multiple chance, multiple opportunities, and you know that you've been here before. No, sir. No, sir. You're out of order, sir, for the third time, sir, for the third time. Gentlemen, gentlemen. No. 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 You're out of order, sir. You are out of order, sir. You're out of order. You're out of order, sir. I'm asking you to please leave the room. I'm asking you to please leave the room. You're out of order, sir. How will I get an order? How can I get an order? Let the people speak. The people must be heard. Mr. Chairman, my chairman has put up on his website the importance of Frank Stone. I thought that was you. You're out of order, sir. Why am I out of order? I You're out of order, order, sir. Needs to be ruled on by the county council. You're out of order. Please leave the room. Thank you. Sir. Not at this point, sir. We have a process, procedures, it's advertised, and we're following it. Thank you. I'm, I apologize. Sir, we have we have we have rules. To, we have rules that govern this meeting. We are following those rules. Thank you. Tab one, County Transportation Agency public hearing agenda. We have one item. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Again, my name is Mark Morgan. I'm a real estate agent with High Caliber Realty, and I'm here just to comment a little bit about the Braves coming to Cobb County. Um, from my perspective and what it's going to do for my industry, this is huge. Uh, we very much support what's going on with Cobb County bringing the Braves here. Um, I just want to say a couple things in that regard. Number one, I want to thank the commission, the commissioners. Um, your task is not an easy one. But uh, Cobb County is one of very few counties in the entire country that has a triple A rating financially. And I know that that has happened over the years time and time again because we have great leadership there that knows and recognizes how to make this a uh, fiscally responsible community. And um, I also want to say that the Chamber has played a big role in that also. And bringing the Braves here to Cobb County not only improves opportunity for everybody with new job opportunities, uh, bringing tourists in and increasing the tourism, um, it just is unbelievable to have almost a billion dollars of infrastructure brought in this community over the next three to seven years. 
Now, I know the number for the stadium is one thing, but the mixed-use community that's going to go along with that, that the Braves are going to be doing, brings that number up to close to a billion dollars of infrastructure. And if you think about it, the taxes over the next 30 years that we're going to be able to, to then reinvest back into the community, uh, the businesses, it's, it's just amazing. So, again, I just want to thank the commissioners for what they've done so far. And I look forward to seeing the Braves hit a grand slam here in Cobb County. And go Braves! Millie, next speaker, please. The next speaker is Chuck Birch. <clears throat> Mr. Commissioner and the Commission, thank you so much for hearing us tonight. My name is Chuck Burge. I am with Multi-Ad Solutions, a national business director. Um, I am here, a lot of people here are going to be talking about the economic impact of Cobb County. I'm here to talk about the pride of Cobb County. Uh, when I was a little boy in, in the 70s, if you lived here, your dad worked at Lockheed or your mom was a teacher. Uh, there was nothing between Dobbins Air Force Base and West Paces Ferry Road but trees. I think you, we can all agree that that's changed some now, that Cobb Parkway is a different animal than what it was in the 70s. To every great opportunity that comes before us, there's always opposition. And yet Cobb County has still grown, and we're still growing. Some great things have happened in this county. The C-5A was lifted off back in March of 68, I believe, out of Lockheed. Lockheed brought a lot to our county. It meant a lot to me, as my dad worked there 34 years. We're still growing. We've got a lot to be proud of. Our own Cobb County Chamber of Commerce is in the top three out of 8,200 or 8,600 in the United States of America. That's something to be proud of. As a native Cobb County, and I am so excited about the Braves coming here and being the next great chapter in Cobb County. The Braves have hit a home run by choosing Cobb, County, choosing Cobb County, and Cobb County has hit a grand slam by inviting the Braves. God bless you all. Thank you. Next speaker, please. The next speaker is Nicole Falk. Mr. Chairman, I'm Nicole Falk and represent Georgia Power. And like the others that you've heard tonight, I'm here to show my support for the Braves move to Cobb County. For us, it's an easy decision when I look at the partnership that the Braves will bring to the community and the economical impact that will come as a result of that move. With nearly 6,000 jobs projected, um, that will be great for the Cumberland area as well as Cobb County. Some other facts that help support our decision is that the 10-year Cobb investment from 2017 to 2026 is about $86 million. The return back to the Cobb County taxpayers of property and sales tax revenues and the stadium mixed-use development is projected to be $132 million or a little over $132 million. Georgia Power is very focused on economic development in the state of Georgia. And because of that, we are very proud of the partnership with the Braves and Cobb County. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Next speaker, please. Next speaker is Cheryl Dre. Thank you, Mr. Commissioner. Education has always been vital to the future of Cobb County, and in the years ahead, our costs are going to go up. Buildings cost more, teachers need raises, and there are two ways we can pay for these costs. We can do what other communities have done and raise taxes, or we can look for new sources of revenue. I'm pleased that you have chosen the second choice, other sources of revenue. The new stadium, mixed-use project, and other new financial developments that will occur around it will bring a tremendous financial benefit to our schools. I know the school budget is separate from your budget but this decision could do the following for our schools. From 2017 to 2027, 
$63.7 million in increased property and sales tax revenues will flow to our public schools from this project. This will bring a new resource to our community, the Braves, and with a history of partnering with schools creatively. Lots of people have talked about this deal as only about an economic development, but it's really a huge deal for education in Cobb County, and education is really the key to our community. On a personal note, I am ready for the Braves to come to Cobb County. I moved here in 1992, and at the time my children were five and three. I took them to several Braves games and want to continue doing that, even though they are adults now. Um, I loved when we sang, we sang together the national anthem, and at the end sang Home of the Braves, not just Home of the Brave. And I always just kind of smiled to see that um, we are the only one in the country that could actually say home of the Braves in the actual song. Um, you know, Cobb County is full of brave people, and brave people have done a lot of things in the recession that we have just gotten over. We have banded together, and our businesses have become stronger, and we are fearless. We survived this, the um, recession and we are ready to move forward and to gain better momentum in what we do together as a county. We are brave, we are fearless, and we welcome the Braves to Cobb County. Thank you. Next speaker, please. The next speaker is Andrew Wyndham. Andrew Wyndham. Can you repeat the name? The next speaker is Andrew Wyndham. Good evening, Chairman Lee and Commissioners. Thank you for your time tonight. My name is Andrew Windham. I'm from District 1. I live at 6061 Autumn View Trail in Ackworth, Georgia. Tonight I'm here to speak in favor of continuing the partnership and opportunity between our great county and the Atlanta Braves. Tonight I represent an important group of 40 and under young business professionals, the Cobb Young Professionals, who are excited to build upon the incredible foundation you have and continue to create with both your vision and your leadership for our county. As I'm sure you're well aware, many in opposition have stated concerns ranging from traffic and taxes to outright intentionally hiding or hindering public access to the facts, details, et cetera, of this partnership and stadium. I find this surprising, quite honestly, especially when considering the state sunshine law and the Board of Commissioners' exhaustive efforts to make details available through CobbCounty.org and HomeOfTheBraves.com. Certainly, it is each of our individual responsibilities to invest the time needed to be educated and informed. After investing such time, I've discovered the following. While traffic is always a concern, your forethought and leadership has already scheduled and approved over a billion dollars in traffic improvements long before the Braves opportunity ever arrived or presented itself. And when looking at the impact of the Braves on traffic, it's actually only 32 games when we take into account summer's weekends and holidays, that's less than 9% of our entire 365-day year. Each of us always are concerned with taxes, yet the opportunity will not increase the tax burden upon a single private citizen. Every partnership requires contribution, Contra Cobb's contribution being approximately $86.7 million over 10 years, but as a business owner, win-win partnerships are key, and they're a result of teamwork and create synergy greater than the individual sum of the parts. Education is a huge winner here for us. Education is a vital area to measure and predict both our future potential and growth as well as success. Education, like every public endeavor, requires funding to support infrastructure and retaining key talent through raises and competitive pay. Conservative estimates show Synergy through the Braves partnership will create over $63.7 million in revenue for the schools in less than 10 years, as well as untold resources afforded through the Braves' creative and innovative partnerships with our schools. Such innovative partnerships and initiatives such as the Braves Reading Program and Exceptional Student Program. While county and school budgets are indeed separate, it doesn't take a lot of effort to appreciate the return on investment in schools alone is close to a break even here. Yet, it is not the end of this means. In addition to Cobb County's investment, the CID 
have committed to $10 million up front in contribution. These contributions are not taken for granted as they're committed by business owners who clearly see and understand the overwhelming return on investment. Additionally, we will enjoy the creation of over 6,000 new jobs and over 132 million returned to the benefit of Cobb County taxpayers in less than 10 years. On behalf of the Cobb Young Professionals, my community, and myself, I thank you for your time, your leadership, and your vision. Clearly, teamwork makes this dream work. To be the best, you must partner with the best. Your support of the Braves in Cobb County through this partnership makes this a world-class opportunity. Let's make Cobb the place where the best come to live, work, and play for many years to come. Thank you for your time. Thank you, sir. Next speaker, please. Next is Lucy Morgan. Lucy Morgan. Good evening. My name is Lucy Morgan, and I'm a Cobb County native and reside in District 2. I also voted in my first election last week. <laughs> Thank you for the opportunity to speak tonight. I recently graduated from Wheeler High School, and I plan to attend the University of Georgia this fall. Go dogs. Go dogs. <laughs> I would like to share my view of the Braves' relocation to Cobb County. While I'll still be in Athens when the stadium opens and the Braves play their first season in Cobb, it is the type of area that will play into my decision of where I want to live and work once I have completed my education. It is clearly one of, if not, the most exciting things that to happen to this community in my lifetime. I think you will see the area quickly become a key attraction for other young professionals as they decide where they want to work and live. Isn't this what you want, of course, our community to be an attraction for businesses and thus highly compensated professionals that brings life to a community? As a young adult, I appreciate what you have done and are doing for our community, and I encourage you to continue to support the Braves relocation, and I look forward to returning to Cobb and being a tax-paying citizen. Thank you. Thank you. Stephen Byrne. Stephen Byrne. Obviously, I've got the most difficult job of following Lucy. <laughs> uh, I'm Steve Byrne, a CPA with Malden Jenkins here in Cobb County. Our office is located right across 285 from the Brave site. To me, communities are a lot like people. They are in a state of constant change. Generally, they are either improving or declining. The infusion of capital and vitality that the Braves Project offers will keep Cobb County on the upswing for decades to come. To me, declining this opportunity would be irresponsible. Most of us talk about what a boon this will be for Cobb County. It's really bigger than that. It will make the entire Atlanta region more viable to have a baseball venue that is a destination. It will bring people not only to Cobb, but to Fulton, Gwinnett, and the entire region. Fulton and the city of Atlanta have the opportunity to improve as well by the site that will be left vacant in the central city. That too has the opportunity of boosting the entire area, including Cobb County. Many criticize the project for its Im impact on the commute in our area, and I'm sure all of us have plenty of friends who feel exactly that same way. But whether it, whether it impacts the compute, commute rather, for 81 games or 40 games, the other 80% of the year, the traffic infrastructure is going to be improved to make the commute better overall. The adage, time is money, is true, particularly in a case like this. Many of those who speak against the project say they simply want more time to consider all of the elements. I think most of them want to delay the project in hopes that it will fall apart and they can say, I told you so. Planning and construction delays add to the cost of a project. So does frivolous litigation. It's ironic to me that so many say they, won't, they do not want the county to waste money, but they employ these tactics. 
I'm hopeful that the Commission will do everything possible to expedite the project so that it is cost efficient. I hope and expect that this project becomes the catalyst for a variety of improvements in Cobb County, all of Cobb County, and for our entire region, and I hope it starts now. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Sally McCauley. Sally. I'm Sally McCauley, and I'm the Executive Director for the Marietta Cobb Museum of Art. And I've been in support of the Atlanta Braves moving to Cobb County since day one. Um, nothing has occurred since November to change that. I would personally like to thank the board for keeping the public informed about the details of this deal. I'm thrilled that the Braves are coming to Cobb and the economic impact that that means for our community. As a nonprofit business, I am very much aware of what the hotel motel tax and car rental tax can bring to the table, and I'm in favor of supplementing the, one, the $10 million that the Cumberland CID is contributing, which means not increasing property taxes for homeowners. This beautiful new stadium is an opportunity not only for retail shops, but for new events like the Marietta Chalk Festival that I'm hoping the Braves will support. <laughs> for new events that can be held to bring even more revenue to Cobb County. I really feel like this is a home run and a win-win for everybody involved. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bill Borden. Bill Borden. <coughs> Commissioners, Mr. Chairman, my name is Bill Borden. I've uh, lived in Cobb County since the late 70s, early 80s, and uh, work at High Caliber Realty. I sell real estate in this county. I can remember years and years ago uh, when it was the other side of the river when we were selling property, and people didn't want to go to the other side of the river from time to time, and I had to stress to them what a fabulous place Cobb County was, and we really ought to see the other side of the river. When I sell houses now, I tell people that it's much too big a decision for them to make on their own. Pick a couple of houses, go home, say a prayer about it. It's all gonna fall into place if it's supposed to fall into place. Well, you guys have been doing that. You've been taking the most strategic moves. You've done everything you can to be open to the public it's all falling into place. It is the oldest franchise in baseball. 1871, only a couple of score, four decades younger than the county itself. It's falling into place because it can still be called the Atlanta Braves in the 30339 zip code, but it can be in Cobb County. Cobb County and it will help us. We're already seeing it in the real estate industry. We're seeing people want to move here. I had a couple coming uh, over from Lexington, South Carolina that bought in Cobb County. They were choosing between Cherokee, Bartow, and Cobb. They chose it because of the Braves, because of the ability to go out with their family. They have four young children. They chose it because of the schools. They chose it because of our transportation. You guys have already put into place everything that you needed to put into place to make this a home run. You've been throwing those strategic pitches. We've been fielding those balls. Those are the types of moves that you had to make. I remember, I'm about to tell my age here, but I remember sitting down with my dad in 1966 and watching the first game of the Atlanta Braves. My dad was a huge fan of the Atlanta Braves. And when he sat down, he said, no, you want to watch this game. And I was young says, but it's going to be memorable. And they've been here since 1966 and making a strategic move like this, and they're not even leaving an Atlanta address. They're coming to a county that has opened their arms to them. You know, a lot of people say, oh, we've opened our pocketbook. But thanks to your foresight, you guys have been able to 
lay all the foundations you need. I understand about the bond issues. Everything that you've told us has come out better. Everything that has been done by this commission has come out better. I understand that the bond issue has to be worst case scenario, but with the synergy that the Braves are bringing to the county and the synergy that you guys are participating in, it's going to be better for not only me, for not only the county, but for everybody that moves to the county and every generation hereafter. You're allowing a company to come in that is in control of the Braves now, and they're going to control that area around the Braves. It's not going to be a blighted area like some people have tried to say because it has grown. It's just on this side of the river, and we have all the transportation that we need. We have all the transportation that we're going to be able to put in place for 31 days of workday traffic. I think it's fantastic. You know, right now you guys have loaded the bases. Now it's time to knock it out of the ballpark. Grand slam. You guys can do this, and I appreciate everything you've done so far. Thank you. Thank you. Justin Lodell. Good evening, commissioners. I've had the privilege to address you all from this podium on many occasions, uh, representing clients before you, and it's always an honor to speak to you. Uh, before I begin, I want to do something that, that uh, is lost in the mix, and that is I want to turn around and thank you all. Thank the Atlanta Braves. The reality is you all have a choice about where you're going to spend your dollars. And everybody in here wants to talk about how, how taxpayer dollars are being spent and what's happening here. But I guarantee you there are some counties out there that are not as fiscally strong as Cobb County, that are not as fundamentally sound as Cobb County, that are desperate. And they probably would have thrown some things at these folks that they couldn't have lived up to in a desperate attempt to recruit you to their counties and you didn't take it. You came to a place where you knew a county was fiscally strong and fundamentally sound, and you're spending your money in my county, and I'm thanking you for doing that. And I appreciate it. My prepared remarks are about the legality of bond financing, and nobody wants to hear that. So what I want to talk to you about is importance and transparency and process. And the reason I want to talk about that is because I'm a small business owner and I have a tax-paying piece of commercial property right here in Marietta. And I'm a small businessman like Steve and like Brett, who you'll hear from, that gets paid by the work we do by the hour. And I quit my day at 2.45 today, meaning I didn't make any money today after 2.45, to come down here because it was important to me to be one of the 12 people to thank you and thank you for what you've done. It was important enough to me to read the rules that you published that were printed in the AJC this morning. It was important enough to these people to be here at 2 o'clock and at 3 o'clock because it was important to us to tell you thank you. And it was important to us to tell you thank you. So thank you. In addition, when we talk about transparency, it's important to me and I've been able to access all the records I've ever wanted to access. The AJC has left no stone unturned in investigating this deal, as I read on Sunday some 2,000 pages of public records turned over just recently. Well, I'm here to tell you that in six months, this deal has been examined probably more than any other in the history of the metro Atlanta area, and we're still where we were in November, right where we said we were going to be committed to this process and committed to the Atlanta Braves, and I thank you for that. I thank you for telling us what you told us then, and being right there in lockstep today, and I appreciate that. I'd like to point out that there have been six months of meetings between then and now, each one having the same public comment forum that we're exercising today, to which anybody can appear and speak on anything that they desire to address this commission. In addition, every one of you publish your email addresses. I have personally emailed every one of you, including the county manager and the county attorney, and I have never failed to get a response, a prompt response on any question I've had from you. You are transparent, you are accessible, and you are to be commended for it, and you have been throughout this process in tolerating the meetings. Those that want public comment and want discourse have been able to have it. Those that want to adhere to the process and the policies that you've set forth have been able to do so. Those that want to have a 
media show in the atrium following a spectacle, well, they got to do that, I guess, too. But this is about following the rules, following the process, and being where it's important to be, when it's important to be there, so that you can say thank you. So thank you. Thank you. Let's, let's calm egg, please. Please, please. Next speaker, please. Brett McClung. Sorry, I'm taking it back when somebody says it sounds like Germany to me. Um, good evening. My name is Brett McClung. Um, I am a CPA. I have an office here in Marietta, off Alexander, and live on Tanbark in uh, Commissioner Burrell's district. Thank you. Um, <laughs> thanks, Justin. Um, I think I'd have rather followed Lucy. <laughs> most people have, have told you most of the things that I feel as well. Um, you know, what he said, what she said. Um, I got irritated this morning because I was listening to WSB Radio, and they told me twice that I think it's AJC Investigations were reporting that there were no guarantees of any commercial development within the project. And they told me that twice because I guess they thought I didn't hear it the first time. And then they went on to say something else, and I, they lost me when they were saying that because I thought, Wow, um, there are no guarantees of commercial development. I'm pretty sure there are no guarantees of commercial development tomorrow. There are no guarantees of commercial development, nor should there be any requirement of commercial development. If someone is going to develop a piece of property, specifically the mixed-use pro project around the stadium itself, um, they're going to identify the land, they're going to buy the land, they're going to close on it. They're going to submit rezoning applications. They're going to go through the plans. They may even pay for additional studies and impact studies of what's going to happen around the mixed use itself. The Braves have done all of that. You, you don't tell me that there's not a guarantee for commercial property because you can't give me a guarantee. What you can do is show me in your actions. And to me, that's what the Braves have done. They fought through on what they said they were going to do. And I fully expect them to continue, as they are here, to continue to follow through and to be good partners in the entire process. Um, I've been to Baltimore, to Orioles Stadium, and they have sort of a project like you're talking about. It's very cool. But I have a couple of friends who have been to Bush Stadium in the Ballpark Village, and I hope that's part of what you're talking about. <laughs> because they say it's fantastic. There's an area, you, you should really go look at it online if you haven't. There's an area across the street, separate from the stadium, it's just north of the stadium, that they, the Cardinals are developing in coordination with the development company that has an area where you can buy tickets like you can at the Cubs, but where you can buy tickets to watch the game. You're not even in the stadium, and you're watching the game. My friends went to the game inside and then went and spent an hour and a half or two hours at Ballpark Village after the game. Now, I know that's the intent here is to bring the traffic into the stadium area prior to and subsequent to the games, but then when there are games not being played. And that's what I'm looking forward to, is the ability to have a mixed-use development there in that area where, like Lucy, my son that just graduated and my son that will finish graduate school in a couple of years, they have an opportunity to come back and live in that area because that's what they want. That is, one is 27 and one's 22, and that's the kind of area that they want. So I thank you for that, as Justin said. I thank you, Mr. Chairman, Mr. County Manager, and Commissioners, for the opportunity to speak and urge you to continue on your course. Thank you. The last speaker is Shane Garrison. Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, thank you for your time. Thank you for your leadership. My name is Shane Garrison. I live in District 1. Shane, I hate to do this, but for consistency, I'm going to ask you to remove your hat. Oh, 
you know, that's that's going to put some shine on my head. You know, sit right here. <laughs> he just wants to look at my my locks here. Um, thank you, Chairman. Um, as I was saying, my name is Shane Garrison. I live in District One. Um, I live there with my wife and my three sons. Um, I took time off today as well uh, to appear here. Uh, I came out at uh, three o'clock today. Cut my work day short to to be here. Um, and before I say my comments, I want to uh, echo what Mr. Odell said earlier. Is thank you to the Braves organization. Thank you for choosing Cobb County, not Gwinnett County, not Clayton County, not any other county. Thank you for choosing Cobb County. Um, sometimes I feel like that we've invited a guest to dinner, um, and we're we're trying to serve them bad food. Um, and the comments that um, are said. I think are uh, of out of line. I absolutely think people should have their their say. I believe in that process, but I also believe that you should read the rules and show up when you're supposed to. Um, the rules are that there's 12 slated positions. Historically, negative shows up and positive sets at home on the couch. Um, that was me for many years, and um, I say no more. This is too important for Cobb County. You as commissioners need to understand that the majority of Cobb Countyans want the Braves here in Cobb County. The Braves need to understand that the majority of Cobb County wants the Braves in Cobb County. I want it for my family. I want it for my business. I want it for my children. My kids are going to go to public school here in Cobb County. I like the idea of 63 plus million dollars being infused back into the, the Cobb County school system so I don't have to have my taxes raised uh, to fund those um, expenses. I like that. I like the fact that we have the lowest taxes in Metro Atlanta. I want to keep it that way. I think this provides the opportunity to do that. So thank you for your leadership. One of the things that I wanted to mention was that Cobb County homeowners um, through this deal will not see their taxes increased by one penny. What other county can say that about a deal um, of this magnitude. I've already mentioned the 63.7 million that go back into Cobb County Schools. I think that's a huge point that's being missed here. Um, the Cobb County School System doesn't generate money. Um, it spends money to educate our, our kids. This is a way to provide additional revenue um, that I don't see uh, many other projects doing. In addition to no taxpayer dollars or incentives um, that will go into this mixed use development area that, that people keep talking about is the revenue that that's going to generate uh, from this project. It's not just going to be a round stadium that's only collecting money on those 81 games that I've heard about. The revenue that's generated from this mixed use development through restaurants, um, you know, bars, people who live there. Uh, this is a place where people are going to want to go um, throughout the year, not just on game day. Um, I think that that's a, a huge point that's been missed. And the other thing, as I, I read through uh, documents over the weekend that I think that's not being talked about enough, is the return on investment aspect of this project. If my numbers are right, it said that we're going to invest 86.7 million dollars over the next 10 years. That investment will generate 132.3 million dollars in the next uh, 10 years. My math tells me that that's 45.5 million dollars. That's a 52 percent return on investment. Let's face it, even if you're half right and you've missed that mark, let's cut it in half. That's that's 26 percent uh, return on investment. You're telling me right now, if if I said give me that dollar, I'm, I'm going to give you 26 cents back for every dollar. You wouldn't do that deal. That's only if you're half right. This is a great deal for Cobb County. It's just not a good deal for Cobb County. It's a great deal for Cobb County. Um, we need to talk more about that. I appreciate the folks that, that came out this evening, um, the folks from the Cobb Chamber the businesses in this community, um, we're excited. The homeowners are excited about this opportunity. 
Thank you so much for your leadership. I know that it's not uh, a fun thing to sit up there and have darts thrown at you sometimes, but uh, Thank you for we appreciate your, your, your leadership. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it takes us to tab three, our consent agenda.